Okay, so d continue with the story of Fred. Yeah, so Fred Hardy, who is the who was the um, Kipchoge's coach mm. back in the day when he was in, during the Olympics, came as a guest of honor to Greenstead Sports Day, where he spotted me, and of course he saw a huge talent there, and he told Kipchoge, you know what, I would love to have this kid to, uh, you know, to um, a scholarship in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. but then of course she's too young. I would like for you now when she's done with air levels, just continue to train her, properly train her, and then you know, then when she's at least you know certain when she's 18, then she's able to come out to come in whatever out to the US. So um, so he had a scholarship, but the scholarship as you were saying before only was only for men. Yeah, before it was only that that particular university was only for men, so they were going to you know start for women, and I was going to be the pioneer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anywho, so so um um so yeah, so I continued running, but you know the the, the nini, the running in green says was rudimentary, like you don't train. Unam <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's no training, there's no what. But he still saw that, okay, even without training, this kid is so... He saw the potential. Yeah, she's so good, even without training. Just imagine if we trained her. Mm. Anyway, so I finished, I finished Greensteads without a boyfriend. Just <laughs> 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 singing those Valentine songs. Valentine <laughs> 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 is coming. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Did but you start the training? Sorry. Okay, you finished green go on. Yeah. But um, did, did, why you did in the time that you're there? Did you go, go do training? No, 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 no. I just finished green sets. Okay. Now, I went to Nini. I went into Nini into. I went into the whatever. I, I, no, I went now into the camp after I finished. Um, green states. Green states. Okay. So I went and started training. At, the, at this camp so let's go back kidogo okay actually it's not i got a boyfriend <laughs> oh, <he came. laughs> at 16. Uh -huh. ah yeah so you see my foster parents mm. um they had an autistic son mm. yeah they had an autistic son which now the older i got the more i got to interact with him and I also became a personal assistant mm. to him during the holidays. Yeah. Sometimes, because he he was um, he needed like assistance with certain things, like just training him. Um, I don't know, um, just basic things. Yeah. Right. Like um, he he yeah just training sessions when it came to like maybe holding a fork mm. or you know. I don't know what I don't know what they, I don't know what it's called, mm. but there's a program yep. autistic people go through, which I got trained in, and I, I I became his personal assistant. Sometimes when I'm in holiday on holidays, just some you know when I when I can you know give a hand. Mm. Mm. Um, I by the way I forgot. <laughs> Shit, um, what's gonna happen? And just go on, just go on. <laughs> Rewind, because I forgot about my philanthropy. So, so, my so philanthropy. Anyways, let me let me just yeah. continue. So, um, when when they um, so my foster parents mm -hmm. they moved now to Uganda now from Zanzibar because you know they are they are being posted in different countries because mm. they are you know they are international doctors. Yes. So now they are posted in Uganda. Now my foster parents were looking. They put out um, an ad in Sweden for a personal assistant mm. to come to, you know, to, to come and uh, work with his son, mm. their autistic son. And here now, a young boy in Sweden decided to reply to this, um, to this, to this um, poster. Yep. And they brought him, right? Hey, so me na chochwa, like, you know, we are coming to, now they, he, him is there at Nini, mm. in, in, at home now in taking Uganda, care, yeah. taking care, working. And then a church where uko, hey, there's a cute boy uko in now home and things like this is working, you know, with um, Yuhan, the guy was called Yuhan. What, yeah. what, 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 church, what, what, church, what. So by the time we got together, him and a church where uko, and <laughs> me and a church where uko. <laughs> so by the time we came together, ah, it was just like it was already done deal, <laughs> right? So I put Kanza Kukatiana and things like this. 
but this was I was 16 and he was 19. Mm. Of course, I was still very young. Yep. So that is when now my mother came hey, through. Her ear stood <laughs> like this. The hair on her back stood like this. I can't have a chonjo or sasa. Like, what's going on here? No, 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 no. And then this other foster family saying, yes, it's good. It's good for her to experience this. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> <coughs> Nina, Nini. Paka, they used to, you know, pay for our dates. Whoa. Mm -hmm. But with a driver. <laughs> they give me a driver. He sits on the parking. Of course, they pay for our dates for dinner. Yeah. To not have dinner, what, what, what. To not on Yumbani, we have a curfew and things like this. Yeah. So they wanted me to experience yeah. that, of course. And, the, and it was really nice for me because I didn't get to, you know, I don't mm -hmm. get any of that in school. Mm -hmm. I know the other young girls are experiencing it already. So it was nice for me. After coming, it was out of, out of um, school. Mm -hmm. I appreciated that, you know, like maybe now I'm starting to, you know, discover this thing, your boyfriend and mm. things like this. Somebody likes me, somebody thinks I'm beautiful and mm. things like this. So that is how now I now that's him, which is which which is the father of my children today. What? <laughs> since, yeah, since sixteen years old. What? Mm. <laughs> what? Imagine. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, to be yeah, honest. yeah, yeah. So he's the one. Pakawa okay. Leo. Wow, 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 yeah. wow. I do know your life gets, is crazy. It's a bit complicated, <laughs> but yeah, he's yes. now, yeah, he's the father of my children. Anyways, so. Your life is crazy. Yeah, like. so at least I got, I can I can just give you a tip. Just kidogo too. I'm not going to get too much yeah, into no, no, that no, no, relationship of stuff. Of course. But that is how now, I, I, when, since I'm teasing myself so much about Nini Valentine, mm. at least you can know. You can just know. There was a something, yeah, something. There was something. <laughs> there was something. <laughs> <laughs> there was somebody who thought I was something. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, okay. yeah, and he was very handsome, Swedish boy, blue mm. eyes, blonde, you know, mm. all these kind of things. Yeah, that is what I got, of course, which was, you know, was good. Yeah. Anyways. Mm, so he's the father of both your children? Yes. Okay. Um, so now we go back now to the, 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 the school. The school running. Yes. Athletic. Now you join, now you join this school with Kieno. Yeah. So... But okay, L can I rewind again? Yeah, Logo? of course. Let me rewind. rewind again. So let me let me tell you. Actually, no, no, I'll take it again. I'll take it back once I get into the philanthropist. Okay. I'll 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 tell I I'll say what I want to say now. Okay. So but anyway, so I go into Nini, Kipchoge's camp after Nini after um, after school, after high school. Mm. Now I'm training so I can get at least to a certain age, where I don't need a guardian to travel, mm. right? Because at the end of the day, you can't take kids at the same time who are underage. Mm. Yeah. So they st I started. I trained there. Wait. Hey. You know how I used to sleep and wake up and just run and I win. So yeah. what? <laughs> this was a different story. All of a sudden, I'm in this camp with Olympic champions what? from all around the world. You what? know? We are the Sudanese nini, Olympic champion, Eritrean, Ethiopian. We had, you know... Um, Luxembourg, yeah. the US, all of it. Yanni, I was just with all these guys. They were already like well trained. So, so they, they were just coming there because of the altitude. Yes. Just to, you know, get their endurance right and all these kind of other things Nini going. Sorry. Hands up sweat. Yeah. So they, them they're already established, you know. I was there with Janet Jeffkoske, you know. What? Ezekiel Kimboy. So no those way. are the guys I used to train with. Can you imagine? What other big name was there I can say? Mm, yeah, Ezekiel Kimboy. So those guys came from that camp. Ezekiel Kimboy, yeah. Janet Jepkoske. The other ones I don't think you would you would know their names because they are from um, different countries. Yeah, different countries. Okay. Yeah. So those are the two now who are yeah, Niliwakuta Apo at the time. Hey, so me, I'm starting to run. Hey, now Kwambia, I used to be left, Yani. <laughs> 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 I'm even embarrassed to say. <laughs> I used to be for Twango and Agari. Those are the guys who me fika nyumbani, who me kula, who me hoga, who me shiba. They've had a nap. Mimi, I'm still being followed by the nini, by the athl athletics car now. Yeah. For nini, the one who is the ones who take us around. So I don't need to pole pole. I get there, you know, rest. Hey, it was so difficult because we used to do like, we used to go for training three times a day. Mm. 5 a.m. in the morning, mm -hmm. you come, you have your breakfast, you rest Kidogo, you rest a little bit, 10. So 5 a.m. is like endurance. Sasa, 
mtu kama mimi who's doing middle middle distance which yep. was 800 800 is more like into where it's sort of sprint but yep. middle yep. at the yes. same time yes. so that's considered considered middle distance you do 45 minutes to an hour mm. in the morning right i uh, yeah so it was like short distance and middle distance you do 45 minutes to an hour mm. in the morning marathon runners they used to come at lunch time <laughs> <laughs> I used to feel sorry for me. <laughs> Those guys would run and run and run and run. I was just like, oh my God, this is just too much. For me already, 45 minutes is yeah. just a lot, yeah. right? Especially 5 a.m. in the morning, Jamka, yeah. Tamzuri. Yeah. But these guys used to run. Let me tell you, them, they used to come for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I yeah, so enjoy your, enjoy your sasa 45 minutes in the morning for, of course, from 5 to 6. Yep. You come you rest your breakfast and things and then now 10 you're doing speed work sasa hey up on the chungu sasa nini that's like the hardest yeah. part of so, it all because you're down it fast sprints almost yeah because me me now as we are doing nini marathon runners just keep running mm. now sisi wengine mm-hmm. <laughs> sisi wengine we're going to do nini nini speed work so you go for example to a to a stadium you're told to sprint 300 meters jog 100 meters sprint 300 meters jog 100 meters continuously continuously and What? there is no yani wana ku time wana you know every every time you you make it in you make it in in 20 seconds they're like oh wow that's fantastic you beat your record yesterday now you have to do 19. 10 seconds <laughs> why jesus hey it's like never ending yeah. i was just like what the heck is this because you're pushing your body every day yeah. you get to a certain point where at least you're comfortable but tomorrow you're you have to pushing beat that. it yeah. so it's like pain 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 uh, like every day so it was really really hard for me because it came to a point where i was just like okay is this what i want to do mm. because it felt like it felt like it was a talent but not a passion i had mm. yeah mm. i f- i fully get that mm. because even in school okay i just ran and won mm. but when i came now when i came down to it where i had to really put the work mm. in it was um really mentally challenging for me because i felt like okay um i'm not really passionate about this but i'm talented in it i felt like i had an obligation to people like for example my foster parents mm. pressure Mm-mm-mm. from my foster parents my peers you know my coaches yep because now they're seeing my potential i i felt like a uh, pressure and um sort of an obligation to please them i get it more or less i wasn't doing it for, for me for you yep no mm. so it was a real battle for me anyways i continued my coach was paula ring so the first to kind of 800 meter champion mm-hmm. <laughs> so he was really pushing because the thing is that kalenjins are not are known for running yep, right yep, yep. all of a sudden there's is this, this there's this trukana girl who is in the camp so he was so like of course he really yeah. pushed me because it's 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 very um rare yep. you know for a trukana to be running so he really pushed me really really hard trained me you know so i i didn't get no so sorry i didn't finish my day of training uh-huh. kunaio so 10 speed work evening now it's strength gym chongo <laughs> yeah so it's gym you know weights and all these kind of things in the evening daily the, monday yeah, to monday day, man, sunday to sunday Or even sundays the funniest thing with athletics if even two days let me tell you you know how you've worked maybe you've worked to this to this point yeah You go you go home for two days. Unarudi uh, yeah, 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 Now, yeah, whoever yeah. has been continuing, go. you're going to be back. Yani unanza square one. It's like starting from square one. So you can't stop. Uh, uh, you uh, cannot uh, uh, stop. Uh, uh, you have to keep going no matter how painful. Hakuna kitu ka holiday. Because mm. when you when you go on holiday, mm, you've gone back like even weeks. I get it. You stop like three days. Mm. It's like you've, your body has gone back a week. You know? So if you go for like a week now, it's like you've gone back two months. Ah uh, yeah 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 I get it. So that's another thing I found difficult because I was like I was like okay when I go home for a little holiday do you know these guys these um these guys who live in those camps no in those areas of course they have the the I, I mean um um 
ample conditions mm -hmm. to run mm -hmm. and continue training oh, even when they're at home i get for, for you me sasa mm -hmm. i mean trukana is dry it's, it's, it's sandy sun. yes i get you know it's sandy and all these kind of things and then first of all what will go on auliza because my mother is called maria Nini na fukuzanga nani mtoto wa Maria? What? What? Because they see me jogging. Ni nini na nini? Kwa nini mekuwa kichwambaya? Ni nini na fukuzanga wewe mstana? Tunawananga kikimbia kila sabwe. I swear to your life. What is chasing her? Ni nani? So there's that also. I felt like okay. Because you're running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have also that nini self. Con I was self-conscious about running off yes. because my community wasn't run mm. used to people just <laughs> jogging because they think that you're crazy. <laughs> it's like, hey. oh, what the heck? <laughs> because actually, when I'm jogging, everybody stands. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'm just like, you know, all those nini rayas, yeah. they're going with their charcoal to the soko or their baskets to sell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh. So I didn't, I, every time I, I thought about waking up to run, I was just like, no, 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 no. no, no. There's, there's another pressure. Of mm. <laughs> so every time I went back to the camp, that was like maybe one holiday I had mm. in the it whole year. It just back to square one. Anyways, so it was difficult in a way that even my body, my uh, my body reacted to to it because it was like from zero to a hundred mm. you know i started like you know when you run you start sweating so let me tell you mm. when you run so much have you seen mm. you just have yani, it, your sweat crystallizes mm. into salt i used to throw up mm. a lot i used to stop at a certain point and just vomit like it used to happen to me all the time because my body is trying to adjust i got boils mm. yeah there were times i had to just go sit out go, be taken home now because i started getting boils so i think it's just the body mm. you know experiencing this um ex other extreme you yep. know and things so it was really difficult twisted my ankles mm. you know all these kind mm. of things mm. so it was it was hard it was really really tough but then i trained and in the end um we had the national championships um in um, kasarani and i was number one what in 400 meters so my coach decided usually you start with 400 meters you perfect that sprint that one lap sprint mm -hmm. then then you move on to 800, 800 it's yeah. gonna be easier for you so of course we started with that i was a national champion in 400 meters what mm -hmm. but i was junior still so i was supposed to i was supposed to go and run in um, now the world champions in um in in in, in, in jamaica at the mm. time it was in jamaica um so, from there now, <laughs> see I was waiting, now there, there was that, and then I, I had the scholarship pending now. See now we yes. have started processing the scholarship, because now in Mefika, the age also, my, um, I have picked up on the running as well. Mm -hmm. Now they can see I can be a world champion. Yeah. So we started the process of Nini, of, uh, of course with the, with the Virginia, yep. the University of Virginia. And then also, while, um, um, yeah, we started that process and then um, while I was in school, you know, when I, when I, while I was in school when we had all this, um, you know, because we, we, of course it's, it's an international school, so we had these um, guests, for example, from America who came to, the, to visit the school or we had, um, you know, Operation Smile Doctors mm, mm, who mm. used to come. Mm. Of course, I used to join those mm. th those activities. For example, they wanted kids, maybe kids from green sets, mm. to come now and play with the children after they've been operated. Mm, mm. So I used to join them and things like this. And then we would perform for them in school. And then they used to be like, wow, that girl, she can be a model. You know, this now, this Wazungu Sasa, they say, oh my gosh, that girl is amazing. She's so beautiful. She's so like, you know, regal and you know, she can be a model.